First up, what exactly is camera tracking? Camera tracking is when your visual effects software analyzes your footage and creates a virtual 3D camera and virtual set inside the computer. The virtual camera moves just like the real one did, and the software creates what's called a point cloud, a bunch of points in space it tracked in your source footage. Looking at your point cloud, you can line up objects with, say, the side of your building, and drop them in the virtual 3D scene. Now when your software looks through the virtual camera, it can film the objects the way they'd move if they'd actually been on set. Camera tracking software once cost tens of thousands of dollars. Now there's a camera tracker built right into After Effects. The After Effects tracker has its limitations, of course, and for a few hundred dollars more, you can buy a third-party tracker with a lot more functionality. It really depends on how deep you want to go. So, how does camera tracking work? Well, to way oversimplify things, it works by looking at how fast different parts of your scene are moving. When you look out the window of your car, things closer to the car move quickly, while mountains off in the distance barely move at all. The camera tracker looks at everything in your scene and based on how things are moving, figures out where they are in the real world. Then it builds a model of the world and the camera that filmed it. Two important takeaways here. Number one, your camera needs to be moving to take advantage of camera tracking. And that means traveling on a dolly, on a steady cam, or in someone's hands. If it's rotating around a lockdown tripod, you won't be able to create a true 3D camera track. You can still track things, but it won't be in a 3D space. Number two, avoid independent motion in the shot. Camera trackers assume that everything in your shot is glued down to the set. It works out by their speed how close they are to the camera. If things are moving independent of the set, that will confuse the tracker. Since actors have the annoying habit of being animated, you'll frequently need to mat them out of the shot before running a camera solve. Now, don't blame the guys who wrote the software for this limitation. It's not their fault. If anyone's to blame, it's Einstein with those pesky theories of relativity. <laughs>